It's just a consolidation process that's actually happening. Consolidate, just consolidate. That's yeah. bullshit too, what I just said, but <laughs> I don't know how else to, you know. <laughs> it's just a way of saying, just sit, sit, it's okay, you know. Sit, just become fully aware, fully aware. Everything is just spontaneously bursting into existence, whatever it is, whatever it is. Mm -hmm. There's a thought, a feeling, a body, the world, whatever. Everything's just going poof. Come to know that. <laughs> you know, and then the, you know, the... <sighs> the telltale signs are that the questions stop coming up. Things start to go quiet. Things start to get still. It's like an expansion, if you like, that starts to happen. The attention goes away from the finite. Finite being the mind and the content of the mind and always focusing on the mind. Attention seems to shift away from that. This is, again, pointers. It's like it loses interest in that yeah, and comes back to itself. It just comes back to itself. Not that it can be aware of itself. Which, um, is, which is right there where it gets tricky to try and talk about this. But there's a shift away, just a shift away from the finite. And it just happens via the process of negating, 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 coming to see, see how the mind operates. Yeah. Just how it operates. Yeah. You know, it's the mind that creates a personal me. <laughs> you know, you know the mind can create the, an image of an apple in the mind as well. We know the apple's not real in the mind. I so say, imagine a green apple. You can imagine a green apple, but the apple's not real. <clears throat> you can also imagine a personal self into being as well, but it's not real. <laughs> yeah. It's beautiful. It's amazingly creative. Amazingly creative. Just consolidate with it, Tanya. Just. You know, that I, 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 you know, especially from you know, conversation you, you and I have had, you know, um, that's all that seems to want to come up when I'm speaking with you now. Yeah. Just stay. Just stay. Yeah. And you know what I mean when I say that. I think, yeah, yes, yeah. yes, I do. Yeah. Um, it's just, uh, just a thought. Um, come up, um, yeah, um, se seeming resistance. Well, that's just, um, that's just for labeling, um, this, the sen whatever the sensation is, and well, there's, n there's no one, there's no one, um, resisting, no, no. No resistor. I just, I'm just referring to what yeah. I was saying before yeah. about the the conflict. <laughs> yeah. Yet, yeah. yet there can be a natural movement towards something or away from it. Which yeah. It, which also has, if you if you really notice it, doesn't have anything to do with thought. Doesn't have anything to do with the thought. Zero. It can be a natural movement towards, and that can be just a natural movement away. A thought might step in and, and, and then give you a story as to why you might be moving towards or why you might be moving away after it. Mm. Yeah? There's just movement. And you start to trust the movement. Yes, yeah, yeah, definitely, yeah. yeah. And then, and then there's, and then there's no resistance. 
the resistance doesn't even come up. You know, like, um, what's that story? You might know it. Oh, you might know it too, Malcolm. Like the three of you might know it. What's that, that, that um, uh, a monk was walking with his enlightened teacher <clears throat> and the monk said to the teacher, If there's no one here, how do you know, Master, what direction to walk in? <laughs> and the teacher said, it depends which way the wind's blowing. <laughs> and that's a silly way of saying just, just, you just, it's, it's, it's very gentle. Yeah. It's very gentle. It's, it's harmonious. It's a, there's a beautiful flow in it. Yeah. So that you know, the teacher's not going to walk into the wind face on. To make sure the wind's at his back. Depends which way the wind's blowing. Well, that's the way I'm being moved because the wind's beyond. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's very beautiful and profound when you just ponder it isn't it yeah isn't it yeah and that, and that one's really simple and yet beautiful it is profound and it's beautiful mm. and you start to see that's indeed what is actually happening mm. and it's only the mind that goes into resistance around the natural flow it's a walk against the wind yeah <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. And, and then and then and then creates seeming resistance, you know. Yeah. And the th the thing is that all that mind and all that seeming resistance and so on and so forth is all contained in the dream. Yeah. <laughs> it's all just contained in the mind. Yeah. And then, then it's only the mind then that says, "Oh, I'm experiencing resistance. This doesn't feel very good. What am I doing wrong? Maybe I should be blah 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 blah." <laughs> 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 yeah, that's funny. <laughs> the soft way. It's the soft way. It's beautiful while you guys are, you know, kind of shut down, like, well, like we're all shut down at the moment, because you really have a beautiful, profound opportunity to really dive into this, really dive in. It's great. Nowhere near the distractions that we used to have. <laughs>